Hi guys, uh, welcome to a bit of a special one-off uh, feature. We've got a special guest with me. This is 800 meter runner Adele Tracy, but also specialist in makeup mm -hmm. and sorting Tom's skin out. And so I know <laughs> lots of runners and, and athletes who train outside a lot are worried about their hair. Their skin often can get quite dry. Uh, and you're obviously showering a lot because you're training a lot. And so it's affecting affecting your hair. So today we're gonna cover skin, we're gonna cover showering, shampoo, conditioning, and all of the above. train every day twice a day so I have to shower like twice a day now I've recently learned by being on camp with our 800 meter runner my special guest today Adele Tracy that washing my hair twice a day is not a good idea no it was not a good idea um, basically when you wash your hair you're stripping it of its natural oils so using shampoo every day is not a good idea because you're you're just stripping um, away what your body naturally produces and makes your hair look really healthy and glossy um, and I know that people you know if you're training you're sweating I understand that people get greasy hair but your body will adapt and it will actually clean itself if you allow it to um, whereas a lot of people probably like you, washing your hair twice a day, um, you're not allowing your body to do that. So it's it's just getting drier and drier. Um, and you know, that's fine for now, but when you, you know, get to your what of forties or whatever, your hair's gonna be so brittle and textured and it just won't be as nice looking. So it's quite nice to look after your hair while you're young and make sure that you're not washing it too much. Okay, so I'm using like an organic shampoo now, um, which they don't have to be the most expensive shampoos, do they? No, not at all. Um, there's like a, a really like wide range of products now available without parabens, sulfates or silicones in them. Um, and that's basically what you're looking for. If you're looking for a shampoo, you want to make sure that they don't contain those things. Um, you can look at the ingredient content um, and you can look along. And basically, the further down um, the ingredients, like say castor oil, that's a really good in ingredient if it's really far down on the product list it probably does means that there's a very low content of it in it so okay. you want to look at the products that are first at the beginning oh, okay. of the list yeah that's good to know and you're doing a blog on that so yeah people can so, check that out. yeah so i've got a blog coming up about um different shampoos conditioners different products um i've got a load on my website at the moment just about um paraben free products as well so um just how you can spot and look for those things brilliant okay so moving on to my face so for a couple of weeks now i've been applying <laughs> A hell of a load of creams here and uh, okay so talk me through so I get out of the shower and now I cleanse yeah so um, this is just a Burt's Bees cleanser they're a natural company there's loads of different other kind of cleansers that you can get um, but a cleanser is essentially um, you know your face wash but you're not using soap so it's soap free um, because soap really dries out your skin so using a cleanser means that you can still retain the moisture but you're able to clean your pores and get everything um, off your face and if you've been sweating a lot it's quite nice to use a cleanser. So you do this, I do this quite a lot after, as soon as I wake up after training, Yeah, get out so the if shower. you wake up in the morning sometimes you feel like a little bit clammy and like you just you want to wash your face, use a cleanser rather than just water because that's going to just mean that you've got a little bit more moisture in your skin and then obviously okay. you've gone out training, you've worked hard, you've, you've sweated a lot, you're going to want to wash your face again maybe in the shower so then you can use the cleanser again then and then I guess before bed at night um, if, especially if you're training again in the evening you'll want to use the cleanser maybe for a third time in one day so it seems quite a lot um, maybe for your average person you would use the cleanser once a day or twice a day okay. but um, for us yeah and then this bad boy <laughs> that's a daily moisturizer yes so I'm using that when I get out the shower and I've cleansed yeah and then I'm putting that on and that's got SPF in, is that right? Yeah, so I've chosen an SPF one for you and I do recommend an SPF uh, moisturiser for most athletes because you're going to be outdoors a lot more than the average person. Um, so it's really important that you've got that um, uh, UV protection. Um, but yeah, so you've got your day cream. Day cream um, is a lot more absorbent. So when you put it on the skin, it'll absorb into the skin a lot more than a, a night cream which Tom also has, I'll show you in a minute. Um, so that is the difference between those two products. Um, and really you can use that as much as you want, but some people like to have a uh, day cream without SPF as well, as it has a bit more of a pigment to it, because obviously it's like a sun cream, it's got a bit of sun cream in it to protect your skin. Brilliant, and you mentioned it, so here it is, the Burt's Bees Night Cream. Um, and I'm just putting that on before bed. 
Yes. So um, the reason why you, that you have a night cream is basically the di yeah. So when you put the night cream on, it'll kind of sit a bit more on the surface of the skin. So it will take a lot more to reserve, um, a lot more time to absorb into the skin. So that's the idea: is that it keeps your skin hydrated throughout the night um, and while you're sleeping, so that when you wake up, you're not you've got not got really dry skin. So it's a lot high, uh, high moisture content than the day cream. Oh, brilliant. Yeah. Okay. And so this one. This is so your eyes can look young when you're older, is that right? Yeah, so this is an eye cream. Um, and again, it seems a bit excessive having all these different creams, but the skin around your eyes is very different to your skin on your face. Um, you know, you want to be using um, a different cream for that because the skin is very delicate. Um, you know how you get like crow's feet and the skin kind of, um, when you smile. Crow's feet, that's where like the lines go. Yeah, here. yeah, is when you right? smile and you get like sort of lines as you get older, that's really um, important, the eye cream for um, age prevention. And one tip you taught me, always moisturise up. Yes, always moisturise upwards, so circular motions to get the circulation in your skin going, um, your blood flow to your skin. Um, and again, upwards, on your cheeks as well um, and whenever you're kind of moisturizing make sure you really target um, you know really push it into the skin but really gentle because the skin is very delicate and it's not good to push it out too much nice one thanks Adele yeah. uh, hope you guys can find that helpful nice little special one off thanks for watching guys